BigTractorPower.com is at the 2016 National Farm Machinery Show in Louisville, Kentucky. We're with Travis Alhorn of Horsch, and we're going to talk a little bit about the new uh, corn planter that Horsch uh, has here in North America. This is a 2016 Maestro. This is a 40 foot machine on 30 inch centers, so 16 row configuration. Uh, we can build this model in a, a 30 inch, a 22 inch, a 20, and then we can do an inner plant version. It shows on the screen behind me here. So that would be a 15 inch planter. We can build that in a 31 row or a 32 row. And then we also build a 60 foot version of this bar, bar here, and it's a uh, 30 inch planter, 22 inch, and 20 inch configuration. Uh, they're high capacity, high speed planters. Um, this machine here holds 780 gallons of liquid. Also holds 83 bushels of seed. So these are a standard liquid fertilizer machine. Also, it's an integrated system that comes straight from the factory. We use a totally tubular stainless steel system, and it's integrated in with a hydraulic driven pump, uh, a banjo fast valve, and a Ravens flow meter. And we can do rates anywhere from three gallons to the acre up to 22 gallons to the acre, uh, and get that all the way up to 10 miles an hour. Uh, most of the time these planters run in the seven and a half mile an hour range planting corn and they run in the 11 mile an hour range planting beans. So what we have here, what we've done with our machines, is they're a heavy duty construction. So we got a long life out of these machines. Uh, very few wear items that we have to replace every year, but we do make it a rebuildable bushing, solid sleeve on the bottom, and we give it grease points here on the, on the rear. And what we've done there is, is gave this a lot of durability and strength. We are also a standard hydraulic downforce planter. So this is not an option. Every planter sold is hydraulic downforce from the factory. And you can get that in a manual set version or you can do that in an auto set version. So we'll use a sensor based uh, version of this and uh, we'll give it uh, the down pressure readings and automatically adjust the downforce as we go through the field. And the beauty of that is we can go into hard ground, soft ground, and always maintain optimal pressure so we're not uh, creating compact compaction zone for the seed. So, yeah. move back here on the road unit a little bit. This is, of course, an electric drive planter. Um, this is row unit and meter has been out for nine seasons now. Um, it's been in the U.S. for five, and it's a 12 volt motor, so we don't require an additional generator or battery pack. Um, it's a brushless motor, so it's got a very long life, 10,000 hour life on this motor. So uh, replacement is very low. We also have our seed sensor built into the module here, so we reduce our harvesting. We just have the two wires in, two wires out. And we use a Dickie John 10 LED sensor on these, it's a more accurate sensor uh, on these road units. So with the 12 volts uh, on the machine and not requiring the generator, we require less hydraulic flow. This is a 30 gallon per minute flow machine. So some of our competitors are up in the 60, 70 gallon per minute range and this one's only at 30. So that makes it easily transferable to most tractors on the farm. We use four hydraulic outlets and we use one case straight on this machine. So also we go over 16 rows on a machine and then we add an auxiliary power harness as well. And that once again is powered straight off the back. So moving back on the machine, we have uh, two gauge wheel options. This is our wider gauge wheel with the tip up, and then we offer a little narrow gauge wheel with the tip down, depending on your ground conditions once again. And then when we move back here, we have once again greasable bushings. We have uh, integrated scraper system here. You can leave those on, take them off, and put them in conditions. And we use a 15 inch disc with an oil filled bearing, 4.5 mil thick. So it's got a long life. And we can also no-till with this planter without filters. But of course, we have an attachment point in the front. And we accommodate most every brand of row planter or attachment that you can put on any other machine on the market. We have a 24-inch bar height um, at field operating depth. So that also allows for a wide range of attachments. Moving back on the machine, our depth control is here in quarter-inch increments. And then something unique to our machine is our closing wheel. These are our rolling seed firmer. So this closing wheel and seed firmer design's a little different. So we have the seed firmer, it's a pliable material to shed any mud or dirt that builds up, but it is also adjustable up and down for varying seed conditions. We can also take them out if we get a little bit too wet, and we do have to slow the planter down when we do that. 
And then moving back here, our closing wheel design, we have two different locations. We can do a stagger. You can also order this machine without closing wheels and uh, put on any closing wheels that uh, will fit in that. You'll get the hardware from the factory and you can install whatever closing wheel you like. Also, we have the most down pressure on any of our, on all these, all the planners here at the show. So in tough, no chill conditions, we can still get to see trench holes. So moving up to the planner itself, um, it is a vacuum planner. So this is our vacuum chamber. So you can see these tubes here, they're all attached there, so we don't have a lot of extra tubing running around the planner. A 16 row will have a single vacuum in the center, and anything after 16 row will be a twin vac machine. And then this is our seed delivery system, our seed on demand, and these are the hoses that feed that. Once again, you have a hydraulic, single hydraulic hose here. You have your orifice style uh, liquid system here. And then we have our cabling that runs back and forth. Our cabling is very simple as well. Um, all the cables in the middle of the planner are the same. And we run a Y cable each end. So, also here when we activate our hydraulic down pressure, these cylinders here activate as well for down pressure. And when we increase the amount of downforce here, this does keep this planner in the ground. Um, this also works off an accumulator, so we give 11 degrees flex up, 8 degrees flex down. So this machine bends very well, and our 60-foot bar is a four-section machine. So it also bends well. We have an extra cylinder, an extra engine. Moving to the front here, we have a uh, just a gauge wheel there that keeps the planter stable. Um, it's only down when we're in field mode. And then we have the largest center tire in the industry. And what we do with this design and this cart and bar design is we transfer the weight of this cart to the bar. And with the wide wheel here, we take the weight off of the cart and we have no pinch rows. And uh, pinch rows is very common with a multi-wheeled multi machine, but with these, this design and this unique design of this planner, uh, we don't have that same control effect. So, Capacity-wise, this 16 row, with 83 bushels of seed in the back, with 780 gallons of liquid in the front. If you buy an inner plant planter, you can take the front liquid tank out, and in beans, when you lower the inner plant rows, you can add another 83 bushel hopper for 166 bushels of capacity. So the most capacity of any 16 row planter on the market. So that gives us efficiencies when we're running seven and a half mile an hour, and we get a lot of acres done today. So this machine here, 16 row configuration, will do everything a standard 24 row at five miles an hour doing today. So. That's very impressive. Thank you. Well, thank you for the tour. I'm gonna just take a walk around and um, look at the whole machine. All right, so, thank you. Sir. Up front is our liquid systems. Okay. Um, we have an option up there for a red ball system up there as well. So if you wanna go up there and look, our okay. fill systems up to the side. Any other questions? I think you've answered it pretty well. It's just a very impressive planner and um, lots of configurations when you go up to 60 feet. Yes, yes. Thank We're you. Impressed. Thank you. Appreciate it.